We did not do a freeway. I think that was quite important, one of the really important things. And we sold off the property for, for uh, public housing uh, at the end of Cassiar, uh, on Cassiar, at the end of Cassiar, and, and whatever the street going across to it was. And um, uh, so that then built housing on it, so it made it more and more difficult for uh, subsequent a council to say it would put a turnaround in here and barrel through. We sort of bent both arms, or one of the arms of the uh, the um, Georgia Viaduct over so they both go on to uh, Venable Street, not the, not Prior and Venables, or I may be getting a little mixed up on the streets right there, but not, not two streets, because what the, the freeway was going to do was first step one way those two streets, and then it would be awful in between the two. So you gradually buy that up and you'd make a freeway out of it. And uh, uh, we, we stopped all that. Uh, we redid the, the Georgia Viaduct and sold the property at the other end and instituted policies that uh, were, were not compatible with the freeway system. So. Uh, I think that was important because uh, you look at a lot of, like Seattle and other people now, the, the freeway is a liability. It's not a, it's not a positive thing. It's a positive thing if you go driving at midnight and want to go through Seattle, but <laughs> it's not a positive thing. And it doesn't work for commuting. Uh, freeways don't work as well as uh, grid streets. Um, and uh, anyhow, the, that's one. Uh, I think the use of the waterfront, uh, False Creek, and, and uh, subsequent councils have carried on with uh, all sides of False Creek and Coal Harbor now and, and that kind of thing. And I think they'll wake up and realize that they've got another waterfront on the Fraser River at some point. But they put the bus storage facility down on that. I, I look at that and sort of shake my head. Why would you put that right on waterfront? However, I'm not on the council right now, and I'm not commenting about the council. So, um, anyhow, I think the the treatment of the waterfront was the second big thing, and the third, uh, since you've got three, um, would be definitely the rezoning of the downtown, uh, because we rezoned uh, the back in the 1920s. Uh, Harlan and Bartholomew had done a a zoning for Vancouver that stood for uh, quite a few decades. Um, and it envisioned that everybody worked here in the inner core. And then there was medium density housing around that. And then there were the suburbs. And there was, of course, Shaughnessy where the, the executives lived and uh, much smaller lots over here where the working uh, people lived. <laughs> <laughs> things like that. There were, it was quite funny when you looked at it that way. But um, this business of making the uh, the core just um, for for businesses and just for shops and offices and pre precluding housing there, it was against the, the zoning to put in any housing inside that inner city. Um, and this is the concentric ring model you're, you're speaking of. Well, it was just the downtown of Vancouver. You could not put, say, an apartment building in the middle of a downtown of Vancouver. Now you see them, quite a few of them. And now you see buildings like this 56 stories one going all which are layered. And there's, there's, uh, uh, there's housing on the top, and there's shops in the middle, and there's offices in the middle, and shops at the bottom. Um, anyhow, the... the uh, we did change the downtown zoning, uh, and Walter uh, was very keen on this too, uh, to be flexible and uh, to mix it because um, somebody or other who was very important in city planning one at, in the past said that um, North American cities are built to work in and get out of, and uh, European cities are built to live in and enjoy. And I probably screwed up the, the quotes a little bit, but that concept was very important to us. And we, we tried with Granville Mall, which didn't really work very well. It was premature for one thing. 
but we tried to uh, get people to go out and, and eat on the sidewalk, and nobody did that then. <laughs> you couldn't get, them. you couldn't make them go out there. So it took a while. I think it really took Starbucks. Uh, and uh, and one of the great things about Starbucks is people started uh, drinking coffee on the streets, and and you've got a lot more restaurants outside now with outside tables and everything, and it's much more European. Um, we uh, the third thing we tried to do was make the city a livable place, and uh, we did little incremental things like the uh, in the West End where every homeward uh, rush rush time they actually stationed a policeman out at Chilco and Georgia Street to stop all the traffic on Georgia and to let traffic come in from Chilco, a residential street. <laughs> and the the engineers thought that it was, you know, they thought the West End was a place to drive through. They never thought of people actually living there, you know. And uh, so they, they just wanted to get as many cars through the West End as they could. and um, uh, But we actually got them to consider closing off and sort of uh, changing the st streets so they so you had to you couldn't easily go through the residential areas it made a huge difference uh, to the livability of the inner part of uh, of the west end and well all of the inner part of the west end um, that was that was part of this idea of uh, making a city a place to live in and uh, the downtown core then instead of being an office uh, area that was dead at night and dead on Sundays and all that sort of thing, uh, you you have a very lively scene now. You have Robson and a whole bunch of other streets that are extremely lively. Um, and the all of the West End is a very nice place to live. And now you've got apartments coming right into what used to be downtown and, and, uh, and people are enjoying living there. The Terminal City Club has a big tower. And people love living there. It's right in the middle of down, old downtown there. So uh, those were the kinds of changes that we made. And uh, they, were, they, they worked and so they lasted. Other councils, uh, well, everyone sort of takes them for granted now. And so, you know, it, uh, that's fine. Um, and, and they work. And I think uh, Vancouver is, is an unusually... Uh, uh, good downtown inner city area 